Hi, everybody. So, I hope everybody had a happy New Year's. And um, this is my first nail set of the new year. So, if you want to see how I do it, just keep on watching. Okay. So, these are my Christmas nails. Okay, I got these done the day before Christmas Eve at a salon near me. And they put a lot of acrylic at the very top of my nails and it's only a week into the manicure and my nails are lifting can you believe that yeah this was a 36 dollar manicure okay i love the color and everything but the nails was really really thick and the young lady put a lot of acrylic at the top of the nail so that's making all of my nails lift so i'm gonna have to repair these at home now mind you today is New Year's Eve so I didn't want to be stuck in a salon so I decided to do it myself okay so here we are now see this nail right here at the base right there is where it's lifting because if you could see on all of them how much acrylic is really really thick so I'm gonna have to go in and file all of these down okay and good thing that I have all the equipment at home yes yeah, see everything is really really thick at the base so I'm gonna have to go in and file them down because if you had a nail that lifts like that like how my nails are lifting that really hurts and plus my finger is beginning to hurt so I know what that means that means a lot of water is getting trapped up under there yeah you see how my thumb is lifting I need to get in there and seal that down and I think I'm coming down with um, a fungus so here's some of the tools that I'm using I have my nail drill and I've had this drill for about several years now and um, these are all the uh, drill bits because I'm going to have to drill this polish off because it is gel polish, okay? So, um, and mind you, I'm doing this like four hours before the new year comes in, okay? So, I was able to get this set done within an hour, okay? So, here I'm just setting up my drill. And uh, I got this drill from Amazon, and it's really reliable. Um, it has a lot of different speeds on it. It has about four different, five different speeds. See how I'm adjusting the speed. Um, and you have to be careful with this because if you're not, you can burn yourself. You can burn your fingers terribly with this. So once again, I am a licensed cosmetologist. Um, since 1994 and um, I did nails in the salon when I came out of beauty school in the 90s I did work in a, a several center city salons in Philadelphia until I decided to do my own thing on my own in my own home and in my apartment I had my clients come where I lived and I did their nails and so on and so on and um, yeah, so I am skilled with using this. So if you try to invest in one of these, like I said, they are pretty reasonable now on Amazon, but you have to be careful when you use it. I would advise you practice on yourself before you practice on anyone else or do anyone nails with this. Because again, you can burn someone or burn yourself. Okay. So you see right there how the drill is removing the polish. And I'm sure you all have went through this if you've gotten a manicure, a gel manicure at the salon. And you go back to get another one or get your manic your pedicure or manicure updated. They file it off. So it's it's much quicker than the soak off method. So I went along with that, you know. I'm gonna file all of these off. So um, since I'm doing myself, I'm taking my time, and um, yeah, so I have to file all of these off, so I'm going to file the polish off of this one nail, so you can see, yeah, so you see how it's coming off, 
and the gel polish is really thick that the young lady used but it was such a pretty color and it reminded me so much of Christmas and since it was the day before Christmas Eve I agreed to letting her put that polish on so see there how all of the polish is off that nail and that was the main nail that was lifting and it's really really sore and I now that I'm looking at it my finger is developing a fungus underneath that's why you have to be careful with who you let do your nails and everybody who know me know I don't play when it come down to doing my nails okay so um I think I won't be going back to that salon <laughs> you know or if I do go back because the young lady did do good work so I'm just going to give her the benefit of the doubt because when I was sitting in her chair she got a call from home I mean a call from her daughter's school saying that her daughter was sick so she kind of was distracted so I'm going to leave it at that but um she did put a lot of acrylic at the top so right there where um i'm using the wood stick to point to that's where my nail on my finger is really really sore and is getting discolored because she used a lot of um she made the base really thick and um when you do that that causes lifting okay so I didn't let them know that I know how to do nails, but, you know, next time I go in there, if I go in there, I'll let her know not to make them so thick. But at any rate, I use ASP products, and all of these products, like the file that I just showed you, I got from Sally's. And they're really reasonable. They're like about a dollar and 29 cents. And you have to be careful with those sides of these files because if you don't buff them up with another file, that can cut you. The sides of those files right there, okay? So just be careful when you're doing that. So I'm just, you know, going in right here and um, I'm just filing down all of that uh, product that she you know put on there um, so yeah you could see the nice curve I like the curve but it was really really thick at the cuticle and around the cuticle so and they were a little thick at the bottom so they were much thicker than I would like so I had to go in and file everything down nice and neat. So there. I think I could live with that. And basically, yeah, so that's what that looks like. That's the texture that I'm going to go with. See how it's not as thick as it was <laughs> before. So I'm going to go and do that to all of my nails. I'm going to have to do it to all of them because they're really, really thick. Um, so I'm going to bond that down with just some regular super nail glue. Um, and uh, this is some primer. You have to use a good primer because that the primer is what makes the acrylic lay down close on your nail base. Okay? So you have to prime them. Yeah, so right there you could get a good glimpse of that green discoloration. All of this from me going to a salon. I haven't had a nail fungus in almost four years. Okay, because I was doing my nails myself. Okay, but we're going to move forward. So... Here's some stuff that I got from Sally's. I decided to uh, use my uh, Sally's gift card. And uh, I have a credit there because, once again, I am a licensed cosmetologist. And um, they looked up my license and everything. So I was able to get a super good sale on everything. So I got me some more good cotton balls. Um, these are the kind that, you know, stay together. They don't peel apart when you taking off your polish so I really love those and while I was there I picked up some new gel polish I picked this up for the spring that's a beautiful yellow color 
that's the color of the polish that's right there at the top on the bottle and that line right there that yellow yeah right there that's what the color looks like so I can't wait to put that on I think I might put that on my toes for the spring and oh I just can't wait so this is some top coat and all of this stuff is ASP products except this liquid I use regular monomer um, it doesn't really matter uh, to me uh, because I've been doing my nails for so many years um, but yeah this Marnimer it's been pretty good for me um, and it does cure fast so that's one thing if you do work with it you have to know how to lay the acrylic within seconds because it is a cheaper product and it cures fast <laughs> okay so I picked this up at Sally's because I have UV lamps but they're really little and you know they take a long time so I decided you know yeah this is not a sponsorship that's what I was saying in the video it's not a sponsorship but um, this is also a, a ASP product and it is a 9 watt and I got this for like $89 at Sally's um, and that was with my uh, cosmetology operators discount and this is the powder that I'm using this is ASP as well and this is the clear I'm using and I just picked up some more files they also are ASP brand. All of these ASP product brand ASP right there, you can find them at Sally's. And that's a buffer. Uh, that's a 180 grit, the light one. And uh, the other ones are, um, I think they're one, 120 grit, 120 to 180. So yeah, so I have all everything set up. And this is how I like to set up because um, I have two phases of the nails that I'm doing that I do I have the uh, repair phase which I bring out all the equipment the drill and the, the gels or acrylic in the nails and all that stuff and so once I use all this stuff and repair the nails then I'll be ready for color Okay, so this is a, a paintbrush that I got from, I mean paintbrush, that's a, a new acrylic brush that I got from Sally's as well. And that is also an ASP product. And it was about 16 bucks. It's a number eight brush, acrylic style brush. And um, yeah, I, I like those brushes. These are some, you know, brushes that are really quick that I could use, that I'm used to using. And I got my iso, uh, my um, acetone. And uh, yeah, so I have everything set up. I have my powder, my ASP powder, in the square container right there where I'm dipping the brush. That's... Uh, That's the uh, nail polish remover, the uh, acetone. And then the little bottle, yep, that's the powder. And then the little jar is my monomer. So everything's set up. So I'm going to let you guys see how I apply this. And we're going to keep it moving because it's New Year's Eve. <laughs> okay, so I just take the uh, wood stick and I just push my cuticles back just a tad bit, okay, because um, this red nail set is only a week old, so um, my cuticles are pretty much fine. Um, it's just unfortunate that I'm having lifting after just one week, okay, and you know, it's just, it's just crazy, but at any rate, this is how I'm going to start this. I'm going to uh, constantly clean my uh, brush. And, uh, yeah, so I dip it into uh, the polish remover, the acetone, to just open up the brush. 
And now I'm dipping it down into the nail liquid, which is monomer. And I make sure my brush is nice and saturated and loaded. And then I go in to pick up a bead of acrylic powder. And I lay it right down there at the base. It's kind of awkward for me to do this on camera to, you know, and not obstruct the view so you guys could see. See, see there how my hand is right there in the way. But yeah, so I'll bear with me. I'm trying my best to make sure you guys see the process of this, how I'm doing this to repair um, my nails. Yeah, so you, the important thing is to pat all that product, that powder in and pat it in as smoothly as you can. I got another little bead. I go in right there, dry the brush off, and just smooth it out. So, yeah, so this is how I'm spending my New Year's Eve because my nails was hurting, my fingers was hurting so bad because of the lifting. I couldn't touch anything, and I got to get ready to take all these Christmas trees down and all this stuff. I need my nails to be sturdy. I couldn't touch anything without being in pain. So I said, okay, I'm going to have to repair these on my own. Because um, I didn't want to go sit in a salon on New Year's Eve um, and risk this happening again. You know, and I'll be $36 in or $46, you know, out of $46 or $36 again and have the same problem. So, okay, so you can see there that it's much leveled down and it's much more smoother. So, I'm going to keep on working on this nail because as you see, I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> As far as with, you know, uh, filing all the paint off of the other nails and keeping everything together. And I'm actually doing this at my kitchenette table because I don't have my nail studio set up yet because we just moved into our new home six months ago. And even though we just been here six months, a lot of our stuff is still packed. And um, the holidays started coming up and, you know, different things, you know, was coming up. So um, I still have yet to get everything together where I'm going to set up my nail studio and my hair studio. So look forward to that happening in the new year. I'll bring you guys along with the setup. In my space I got new products coming out okay so right here right there is always a weak spot okay for me so what I like to do is make that area right there on the side of my nails right there where the fingernail leaves the actual finger the uh, the nail bed I always get a split right there on that corner. So I like to, you know, stabilize those corners really good. So I'll add a bit more of product in those corners. And I like to go underneath my nails, which they don't do that at the salons. And if they do, they're going to charge you more and you have to ask them to. But I put acrylic underneath my nails too as well. Because when you have nail growth, your natural nails underneath, they could start separating from your uh, actual salon nail. And that's not a good look either. So this is where I take a bead of acrylic and I go underneath my nail to seal down my real nail. You see how my real nail is separating from the salon nail and see they don't address that when you go in the salons 
And if you tell them that, you know, to address it, they get kind of angry and then they, oh, it's $10 more or something like that, you know. Um, but that technically should be a part of the service, <laughs> you know. Um, you shouldn't have your natural nails leaning all the way or protruding away from the salon nail. So, yeah, so I just, you know, file that nail, my nails down with the drill. And then I go in underneath and I put a layer, a thin layer of acrylic to smooth it out, my real nail, smooth it out with it. And there, there's the ASP products again. So I'm going to use uh, all three of these. Now, this is a 180 grit, and that's a 180. This is more lighter. This is a heavier grit, okay? And this is the one, like I said, you can cut yourself really bad. So what I like to do is I'll take and rake another file on the sides of those like that to soften that those sharp jagged edges up on these files because if you're filing your finger yeah if you go in and you're filing with that sharp edge on that file see that rubbing right there could split your finger open okay so that's just a little pro tip. Yeah, so basically now I'm just, you know, uh, shaping the nail and filing away everything and um, giving the nail some shape. So I'm not going to bore you all with uh, doing every fingernail, like, you know, showing you guys every nail. Because I have to do this to every individual nail. And but like I said, this is New Year's Eve, so I'm timing myself. I only got another 40 minutes to do this because um, I want to be done my nails by 930 tonight so I could spend time with the guys before the new year come in but I want my nails done you know and it's hard to you know keep doing the nails and filming but I did want you guys to see this so yeah so that's how that looks okay so I found the correct nail drill bit that I was looking for and now it's just me placing my nail drill bit inside the uh, the drill and adjusting it to the speed that I like that I've been you know using for years and again like I said I had this drill for like several years and um, me and this drill have a really good relationship so <laughs> So, yeah, so, um, right here I'm just, you know, giving my nail a shape around the cuticle. And I think that's where the young lady, she didn't file me down good around the cuticle. And she left it really thick. And when you do that, that causes your nails to lift. Or that'll cause your client's nails to lift. Like if you look at my thumb with the red polish on it, you can see that is a lot of acrylic. I mean, that nail really sits up right there near uh, my cuticle. So that's why, you know, some of that should have been filed down. But, you know, I hate to get in the chair and start micromanaging the young ladies when they do my, you know, manicure or they giving me a full set. You know, and then they'll, you know, be looking at me like, oh, what's she going to tell me what to do the whole time? You know, she's sitting here. But, you know, I feel like when you're paying people, you know, um, you should get what you pay for, you know. 
And yeah, I could do it at home myself, but sometimes I want to go and be pampered. You know, I don't want to, I don't feel like doing it at home, you know, but in this case, you know, I felt like, okay, my nails are sick now because um, I did come down with the fungus and um, so I'm going to be doing my own nails at home for a while. And I'm just showing you right there on the drill how it's at full capacity. When you see all those lights on, on the drill, yeah, so that could really burn if you're not careful with it because all those lights are on is at full speed and I put it on full speed when I'm just you know shaving down a lot of the acrylic that you know I don't need but again you gotta to keep that using it on full blast like that is to keep the drill moving don't stay in one spot because you will burn yourself and you will feel it okay so it's kind of hard to let you guys see the angle where I'm trying to get around the, the cuticle and uh, let you see how I'm, you know, filing and giving my nail a shape. Um, hopefully I'll be able to, next time I do a nail video, I'll have my camera set up where to, it'll be over top of us and you'll be able to get a better visual of what it is I'm doing and how I'm using the nail drill. So yeah, so I'm just gonna file that down and um, and we're gonna make things happen from there. Yeah, and I go underneath and you know smooth out the nail underneath and I got to do this for all of my nails. Yeah, so you can see the shape is nice. I like the curve. So it's not all extra super thick. Like right there where it was. See like how it's really thick on those nails. I'm not going to leave it thick right there. Because when you do that, that's what causes lifting. So I'm going to continue working on this. This nail. And uh, I'll let you see what how it looks in a few minutes. Okay, so now I'm just taking the uh, ASP file and I'm just giving it my nail a little shape. So this is the process that I have to go through with all my other nails. So um, sorry I was out of frame for a little bit, but I'll be right back with the finished product of all 10 nails done. So I got to do that to all of my nails, including my thumb and I'll be right back to show you what that's gonna look like and here we are so I did all the rest of my nails and you see that green area right there that's the fungus from all the from that nail lifting up and water getting trapped up underneath there and the young lady didn't seal my nails correctly you know, it's just, it was just a whole lot that went on, okay? But I was able to uh, seal the nail, get it nice and dry up underneath the acrylic. And uh, see on my other finger right there, right there, I started getting another fungus. And it's so sad, you know, my nails were fine, you know, and I go to a salon. The first time I went to a salon in a few years to get my nails done, 
and catch a fungus. Okay. Well, anyway, let's move forward. So here's that uh, ASP um, UV light that I got from Sally's. And this is not a sponsorship. I wish it was, but it's not. But um, I bought everything that you see with my own coins, okay? And um, so yeah, I have the uh, I have a kit right there with some nail designs, some jewelry, nail jewelry, and stuff like that. And this is just a small collection of gel polishes that I have. Now I haven't used that many gel polishes because I didn't have a good UV light. But now that I got a good UV light. I'm going to start playing with gel polishes more because they are really nice. So these are the gel polishes I got. And I'm going to use that yellow in the springtime. I wanted, I was thinking about putting it on, but it might be too bright for that. Um, so we'll wait until like March or April to put that on. So I think I'm going to choose this gray, this heather gray. Um... And these are brand new bottles of polish. I never used them because, again, I didn't have um, a dependable UV light. But since this is my first uh, time using this UV light from Sally's, I just got. I'm hoping it don't disappoint me. So it got all the settings in the back. You could even set it for um, 180 seconds or uh, 120 seconds and it has the start timer right there and uh, yeah it's pretty much like a lot of the ones that you see in all the salons so we're going to see how this works okay so I'm opening up this uh, bottle of gray and that's a pretty gray now this polish will not dry it only will cure under this UV light, okay? So, I done prepped my nails. I done put um, the top coats on. And, yeah, so we're going to see how this gel polish cures under this store-bought Sally's UV light. Now again, this uh, UV light, you can get it from Sally's, and it was $89. Wow, and that's a pretty color. So, so far so good. So what I did learn about the gel colors, you can't polish your nails with this gel polish like you do with regular polish. You have to put the first coat on very thin, okay? And you have to not let get any of the uh, gel polish on your cuticles or on your skin because that'll cause the polish, once it cures, the polish will be able to peel off if you accidentally put some of the uh, polish on your cuticle or on on the sides of your nail wall um, so yeah so that's just a little pro tip that's why you see me you know gouging in there in those corners to make sure that all the gel polish stays on the nail and not on my skin okay so I'm going to polish these and I'll be back in a second to let you see what it looks like once I be ready to nuke them. Okay, so I'm really liking the way how the polish has cured and my nails are dry. And I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed with this UV uh, light lamp that I got from Sally. And, um, yeah, this really got me hooked. So, I think I'm going to be enjoying my at-home nail experience now. Because I don't have to sit forever and wait for my polish to dry. 
I'm only using the one um, because it has two settings in the back. You could either set it for 180 seconds or 120 seconds. So I've been using the 120, 120 seconds, and my nails are dry, and they're shining. They look just like I came out of a salon. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying this. I'm really liking this UV dryer. <laughs> I can't say enough about it. So I'm going to go ahead on and put another coat on um, of polish. So this will be my second coat of gel polish. And I'm using really light, light coats. Um, yeah, and I'll be using the, uh, the dryer. I can't believe how nice this, uh, UV lamp is working. You know, I can't say enough for it. And this is just the first time. I, I know I'm a little hype because this is my first time using this type of nail dryer UV lamp at home. But, I mean... It really dried my nails. I could dig into my pocketbook and my nails wouldn't be damaged. Like, they were really dry. I was really impressed because I have three UV lamps in my uh, closet and none of them work as good as this. And I'm just, I'm, I'm very impressed. So yeah, so I'm going to nuke them again. And I put it on 120 seconds. And that seemed to have done the trick with my um, gel nails. Nail polish, rather. And I do my thumbs last, you know, uh, let them go in on their own to make sure that, you know, it get a nice even light. Because it does say the nail polish have to be evenly distributed Uh the light have to be evenly distributed on the nails for them to cure. So yeah, so I'm going to do my other hand. And we are done in 40 minutes it took me to do this on New Year's Eve. And look you guys. My nails are done on New Year's Eve and we still have two and a half hours until the new year is come in and I did my own manicure at home at my kitchen table using this UV lamp and some gel polish I got from Sally's earlier that day so I will advocate for this this is a really nice UV lamp and the gel polish turned out really nice so yeah so this is the final outcome so thank you guys for watching and I want you guys to be safe and enjoy your new year and happy new year to everybody we made it God bless take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you in the next video take care have a happy new year bye